Bill from DDL Group. I'm going to stand and teach you the basics of working on a machine, working with a machine, showing you how it works, and of course, how to make it so sort of maintenance side of this checked over. So the first thing we're going to start on is obviously the basics of the on and off switch. So here, so in the off position, in the on position. Next, we're going to go to the engine oil, making sure there's plenty in there. Unscrewing the cap, grey one only, not black. Pull that out. To rule of thumb, if you give a machine a little tilt, you should just see it trickle onto the edge. That way you know there's adequate fuel uh, oil in the machine. Back up nicely. Now that, turn, now the machine's turned around, what we've got is the pull cord for starting the machine. We're going to just give that a basic check. Gentle, slow movement to pull that out because you are turning an engine over. Once you pull it right out, you're checking for any damage. Make sure there's no damage, no cuts or frays. You track that back slowly, don't just let it go. The next piece, we have the fuel. The little, grey lever, the little black lever here is the fuel on, the fuel off for transport purposes. So we want to make sure that's in that position. Put it back, back. Next one is your choke lever. Little grey on, it's in the on position, the off position. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and check. I'm going to drop the hose off the top carefully. We're now going to go and check the air filter. Extracted the two pins. Lift the cage up slowly. We're going to give us access to the air filter. And through the top nut. Lift it off. Make sure your filter looks clean. And by pulling it down, it should also be clean on the inside as well. If you're not sure, then change it. I thought it was very important for this machine. It's got to be clean. Okay. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to turn around again carefully. The next thing we're going to check for is hydraulic oil. Again, this is a hydraulic machine. It needs oil. So on this section here is a little glass bowl. And on the glass bowl is the hydraulic oil level. Make sure you're midway at least. If it's low, fill a cap is here. Don't overfill it because it needs room for expansion. Now we've got that cap back on again. And close it down. So that's the basics of how the machine needs to be checked. Every time. Quickly turn it back on again and replace the clips, which obviously keeps the casing sturdy. The next thing you need to do, we're going to go and connect the gun. Quite important, you'll have a six metre hose with this machine. And on the end, that's the hydraulic couplings. Two types, one male, one female. You can't get this wrong because they won't fit with the gun. So what we're going to do now is connect with the gun. Here's our breaker gun. And then what you do, which is quite important, which a lot of people don't, with a piece of tissue or a rag before you use the machine, make sure the couplings are clean. Just give them a wipe, get the couplings off of your machine. Make sure both sides are clean, because if any grit gets in there, it will cause a hydraulic leak and push fit. It will snap when it's located. With just a gentle twist, we'll also then make sure it's locked firmly. Same again with the other end. Again, wiping couplings. Again, snap fit. It will retract through and then twist it. It's now in the lock position. Now your gun and your unit are together and they're ready to go. So. Before using this unit, safety first, make sure, depending. Make sure, A, you have a pair of safety gloves, and of course, eye protection, because you're gonna be possibly breaking concrete. 
uh, seat, even down to the basic little bud earplugs or the proper earphones. Obviously on a construction site, you will require to wear a hard hat. Now we're gonna go and connect the steel up to the machine. Pretty straightforward. Carefully laying the machine down. Grabbing a breaker steel. Simplified. The lever here, tracks back. Grabbing the steel, placing up the shaft, as far as it go, and then into the lock position. Once we have the steel ready to go, we have the starting procedure. Obviously, if you're working in an environment where you're enclosed, you've got to think about your space because this will produce carbon monoxide fumes. So make sure wherever you're using it, it's in a well-ventilated area. <coughs> Starting procedure, it's a little bit on the noisy side, hence why I said wear the earphones. But, so we're making sure on this one, the first things first, the stop lever for the hydraulics here is on and then off. Make sure it's to start, it's always in the off position. Coming back round now then, so make sure to start, flick the switch for the on off to the on. Going around to the choke lever, pull it right back. Now making sure the, to start this unit, you have quick, do not adjust anything on this because it's preset for all, a fast, quick, jerking movement. Then pick them up for a little while, then switch, shut off. Allow the machine to idle for a little while, then focus more nut, push the lever for the flow, open. With that in mind, then, once you're wearing the first protection equipment, you are ready to run. Making sure you're comfortable using the breaker, your hands are still in the joint control. So you get them down, it will absorb the brake completely. Once you finish, pull the lever over, throw the machine down on a sort of surface. Yeah. 